All right, everybody. Uh, back doing another video on my wife's 2021 Bronco. Um, today's video is going to be basically the rough country bushwhacker style fender flares. Now, they offer two different kinds. They offer a rivet style, and then they offer the rivet appearance style. If you don't mind drilling holes into the body of your vehicle and you live in an area where you're not really going to have salt put down on the road and have to really worry about your vehicle rusting out a lot faster than, you know, generally it should, um, then maybe the, the actual rivet style or for you. However, where we live that we get entirely too much snow throughout the year and uh, they put down a lot of salt, which the calcium in the salt uh, definitely wreaks havoc on your uh, on your vehicle. Um, so we went with the rough country uh, rivet appearance ones. Um, so basically, I already got them all on. They're actually super easy. I uh, have read on some of the forums that, uh, you know, these, these fender flares, people were having problems with them where they're falling off. Um, the directions, unless you go to the website, they're really not that clear because they'll send you uh, directions that are in black and white. So it's not um, very helpful uh, as far as like where you're looking at on the car because it's already dark where they're doing it and then the pictures are all black and white so if you get anything for the bronco or any other vehicle just go to rough country and download uh the pdf instruction module it'll all be in color it'll make your life a lot easier just a quick tip um so these fender flares are actually pretty easy to do uh they look intimidating at first but um i'm gonna walk you through how to do the front and the rear and what I did to make it a little different um, to make sure they're gonna stay uh, what will come in the pack you will get we went with the sorry try not to lose them the black rivet styles um, just because neither one of us are a very shiny flashy type of people so <clears throat> it'll actually look like a rivet I mean from where it stands it just looks like a black rivet on the inside you're gonna have a plastic tree and then you're gonna have this white foam this actually will peel off it's a 3m double-sided foam that actually will snap right into the holes that are already there to give it the appearance that there are black rivets into the body another thing that's gonna come in with the the packaging that you're gonna get will be the silver rivets these same concept as the black ones but there's no 3m they're actual metal so you'll take this, put it in the hole, and then put the 10 millimeter nut on the back side, tighten it down, and then it will get, still give you that rivet appearance, but without going into the body of the vehicle. Another thing that's gonna come in is gonna be this weather stripping, like you would get if you were actually riveting them into the side of your vehicle. These are the instructions that will list everything laid out in the package or the box that you're going to get. Um, you know, actually, I'm kind of glad I kept these so then I can show you what you're going to be looking at as far as quality of pictures compared to the actual color pictures. So this is basically what you're going to get. It's showing you that they're using the silver ones to give it the silver appearance. So they put them on. And then from there, it just gets a little harder to understand what they're talking about because a lot of the pictures 
and it's nothing on rough country um one thing i wish they would did would show you the underside of the wheel well as to what exactly they're doing um the rubber trim is actually supposed to go up along the top side of the fender flare which keeps it from rubbing onto the body so they will show you the placement of where you're going to put the snaps because that is essentially what holds these in is, is just the snaps and maybe that's where the people are running into the issue where they are having these things come loose and or fall off um, but I'm going to give you a little trick in that to keep them on and not have to use the rubber if you choose not to. The way I went, I was actually not able to use that rubber seal. But there, there is a reason for the madness. And it'll just show you the placement of where you're going to put the, the clips and where you're going to finalize the clips. When you are all done and have all of your plastic rivets put in, you have extra of them. You will not have any extra of the clips. So it'll lay out everything you're gonna have. 18 feet of excursion, which is what they call the rubber. Um, they do give you six alcohol wipes, which the route I went, you're gonna wanna use them. And the upside of that is we ordered another bug deflector for hers. So they send you an adhesive promoter for the 3M. If you use the alcohol wipes, wipe down anything that might be on the body of the vehicle, the alcohol wipe will actually take care of that. So <clears throat> I will use the alcohol wipe and go up along. I'll actually take the fender flare. I used the dry erase marker and just went along where the fender flare is gonna be mounted. Then I use my alcohol wipe and wipe all of it. That is an eighth of an inch below where the actual uh, dry erase marker would be showing on the body. Reason being, I don't need to do everything underneath because I went and pulled all the fender flares out of the package two days ago and I bought uh i want to say it was like 60 yards or 60 feet sorry um of quarter inch body 3m adhesive tape reason being is instead of using that rubber piece that would go along here i actually just went along inside of the fender flare with the 3M on all of them. Um, and then I left them go for like two days and I kept the parts inside so it could actually cure right to the, the fender flare. Um, then they do give you the adhesive promoter for the hood, but it's a thicker 3M that actually holds that on. So a trick to that is if you have a heat gun or a hair dryer warm up your hood well another thing we did was i used a dry erase marker and put a notch here and a notch here so then basically it could just be slid into place and everything would be lined up i wouldn't have to worry about pulling taking it back off and fighting with it possibly breaking it um once you get that done and you have your little marks done with the dry erase there will be a like a plastic covering on this you can actually mark right onto that uh, with the dry erase so then you have your your mark um your lineup points essentially then take the hair dryer or your heat gun and warm up the paint then as soon as you get the paint that's warm not too hot you don't want to screw up your paint just warm enough to where you can touch it in and you're like you know that it's warm flip your bug visor over and heat up the 3M. For some reason, when you heat up 3M, it activates the bonding properties in it a lot more than just sticking it on. If you do it that way, once it's on, 
The only way you're getting this back off without damaging your paint or breaking this is to use a heat gun to try and heat up the 3M again and pull through. Um, but you're gonna run more of a chance of breaking it. So once it's on, it's on. So don't really put apply your force to actually seat the 3M into place. So the adhesive promoter that came with that, I used on this. After I did the alcohol wipe, I went around the whole vehicle. Um, all of where the 3M on the fender flares that I added was going to touch to adhese or to promote the adhesement of the, the 3M. Then once you start, take your heat gun, warm up the inside of the 3M that you're gonna have along the actual fender flare. Eye it up, get it into place. Now, back to the clips that I was talking about. <clears throat> Once you get it in the place, your clips, let me see if I can get this, are gonna look like that. You're gonna have a little notch and then a circle on the other side. The notch is actually gonna snap right into the notch on the fender flare. Basically, all you're doing is if you look back here there is a piece of plastic let me see if i can get to it without really distorting the video there's a piece of plastic right here that runs along your factory um fender flares or your factory wheel well skirts what you're going to want to do is they snap over top of that once you get the first two like it shows you in the instructions snapped into place push your 3m into the body and then you can put the rest of them in with the adhesive promoter and warming up the 3m it's going to stick and it's going to stick hard really the only way you're going to get these off is you're going to be yanking and pulling and probably cussing once you get all that done and your clips in then move over to the actual push tabs for your 3m and basically where you already have the 3M, you're just applying a lot more pressure to seat the 3M. The back, same way. Uh, the back might look a little intimidating when you're gonna do it just because of the door. So set your first one, it's gonna be close. Set your first one, which will be this one, the back one, sorry. And then do the front side. Doing that, will give you an idea of where your fender flare is going to sit to where you still have door clearance because you don't want to put it on, open your door, and rip it off. It just, it'd be very frustrating and I'd probably swear a lot and break both these pieces and tell the wife that one was broken and have to order new ones. But back the same way. You will have four clips on the inside door piece. And then on the other one, you will also have another four clips. It'll be like that the whole way around. Um, so if you're looking at doing fender flares, I highly suggest the rough country rivet style, no drill, no bolt ones. They are actually priced pretty reasonable as well for the 2021 Bronco Sports. Um, a lot of people with the, the big boy Bronco are doing just a straight rivet ones. And that's fine. It's all personal preference. But um, we want to keep our vehicle a little longer without it having to, you know, have body work done because of it rusting out. So if you have any other questions or you see something in the video that you're not sure how I did to change the appearance of the Bronco, feel free to reach out. I normally get back to everybody within like maybe... Within a day, maybe two at the very latest, depending on my work schedule, but I will get back to you. If you have a question and I don't know the answer, I'll be straight up and honest with you. I don't know, but I will do my homework or my research and I will find you an answer, if not another video of somebody doing the whatever you're asking, um, to just to try and help you. 
So thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe to the newest updated videos being done on the Bronco. I also do a lot of videos on my 2020 Ram. Um, as far as just doing things to change the appearance to make it my own. You might get down the street and you might see six or seven different Broncos. But if you can set yours apart from the rest of them, that's what matters. Make it your own. And it's all about preference. And, you know, if you're doing it your way, it's cool. Um, make your vehicle your own. But, uh, yeah. So, that's enough of my rambling. If you have any questions, uh, leave a question in the uh, comment section below. And feel free to subscribe. By subscribing, you will get the newest videos that I upload. And I normally am, well, recently I'm doing a lot of uh, vehicle uh, vehicle stuff on both these vehicles. She has a checklist on what she wants done on her vehicle. And well, I'm just working my way through it to get her vehicle where she wants it. So thanks again for watching and feel free to subscribe.